Hello, my name is Dolly Young and this is a run through on the new apps on the Google Plus Hangouts. If you've not checked them out or if you've not heard about them before, these allow you to do different things on the Hangouts. They can let you share documents as well as being able to do special effects through the webcam and also playing games. So let's pop into a Hangout. Okay, so now we're in a Hangout. Now I've already explained how to use these types of Hangouts. If you check out the link down here, you can get more information on how to use these types of Hangouts. The only difference really is the buttons to the app section. Now you have an app section link up here and we have a different icon for the special Google effects. And also down the bottom left hand side, we have a people and apps. This allows you to scroll through whether you see the camera feeds or the applications menu. Now if I click on the applications menu, it will tell you what applications are currently running on the Hangout. At the moment, we haven't got anything running, so it just tells us we can add an app. Click on the add app if you want to add one. Now at the moment, Google only has eight applications on its Google Hangouts. I expect them to bring in lots of new Hangout apps as they try to innovate and make their Hangouts even more interesting and exciting as they already are. So let's have a look at some of the apps. You have your YouTube app, which you can add to it by clicking on the green button underneath it. And you have Google Effects, which is like the masks where we had the cats and the dog and the hats and the moustaches and all sorts. Kaku for Hangouts is a user-friendly online drawing tool, which means multiple users can edit the same diagram at the same time in real time. The same goes for Google Docs up the top. You can edit all of these Google Docs together in a Hangout. Also on the more productive side, we have SlideShare, which lets you do presentations and you can pass the control to any of the other people that's in the Hangout. On to the fun stuff, we have Aces Hangout, which is Texas Hold'em Poker. If you're into poker, this would be a blast. Then we have Scoot and Doodle, which allows you to doodle things in different colours and then share them. And then further down, we have Clubhouse Challenge, Hangout by Bravo. This allows you to do a quiz with all your friends on your Hangouts. For any of these apps, if you want to add these to the Hangout, click on the Add to this Hangout at the bottom of the app. Or, if it is an extension, then click on the Install Hangout extension at the bottom of the square. Okay, so... The effect is slightly different from the other apps that are on the system. Now, for example, let's put a scuba mask on. Say we don't want the scuba mask on anymore, just click on the button again. These are all just easy push buttons to be able to switch them on and off. And you can have lots of fun by just clicking through all the buttons. When you've had enough, you can click on Remove All and then click on the X up the top right hand side. Okay, so back to the apps. And this time, we'll go into the YouTube app. Click on the little green button to add to this Hangout. And up comes the YouTube app. It's very similar to what we had before. So search for the video that you want to find and click on search and then click on the video that you want to watch. And when you're finished watching videos, just hover over the app and you'll see that there is the name and a little X, just like you would use the mute and the block controls in the people section. Click on the X to close the app. And there we have it. So pop into Hangouts, try out the new apps, my name is Dolly Young and happy Google Plusing.